I'm Bruce Chassie. I'm a professor of food safety and food microbiology at the University of Illinois, and I'm also a professor of nutritional sciences. Um, I teach toxicology and food safety. I also teach science communication and bioethics, um, and I've been involved for more than 20 years in evaluating the safety of foods and feeds produced through biotechnology. Animal feeds that are produced using biotechnology um, are very carefully evaluated before they're put on the market. Um, it, it's necessary to show that they have the same composition um, as any other form of that same crop and that they perform in animals exactly like you'd expect that crop feed to perform. Uh, federal regulators in the United States would be responsible for ensuring uh, that that's the case, and that would be the USDA and the FDA. Globally, international standards for this evaluation are set by Codex Alimentarius, which is a joint venture between two UN agencies, the World Health Organization and um, the Food and Agriculture Organization. In other countries, for example, in Europe, the European Food Safety Authority describes the kinds of experiments that need to be done to show that feeds and foods produced through biotechnology are comparable to you know, exactly the same food produced using conventional means. And there is also a rich scientific literature from university researchers and other government researchers who basically are checking up on what the companies and the regulators are doing. And so there are over 200 papers in dozens of animal species with uh, covering most of the biotech crops that are in the market today that basically show exactly what the regulators said and exactly what the companies said, that soybeans or corn or alfalfa produced using biotechnology is essentially soybean, corn, or alfalfa. One of the questions that uh, there are quite a few studies um, that have addressed is whether meat, milk, eggs, you know, animal products that come from animals um, that have been fed biotech crops is the same as those products that we would expect them to be. What we know from a number of scientific publications is actually you can't tell if an animal has been fed a biotech crop because there is no sign of the DNA or the proteins from that biotech crop plant in the milk or meat or eggs or other products that come from those animals. And because there's no difference in performance or composition of the animal itself or the quality of these products themselves, it's pretty safe to say that a biotech feed has no effect on the quality or composition of the animal products you isolate from that animal, be it milk, eggs, meat. You have to recognize there are critics of this technology who are constantly making claims about um, the technology not being as good as the regulators have, and the companies say it is. It, that gives rise to more papers being published in, in scientific journals. And th on balance, those papers, the, the good ones, the ones that have passed critical peer review, continue to support the same finding. And that is, is that when you use genetic engineering to change a feed, it, there are no differences in that feed with regard to animal nutrition and performance. You will find claims by people who are concerned about this technology for a variety of reasons that animals suffer from one kind of problem or another when they're fed gen genetically modified crops. And um, one of the things that regulators have to do very often is look at bad or incomplete studies that make false claims about genetically modified feeds. And uh, there are some very good reviews done by the European Food Safety Authority, which basically document that many of the very inflammatory claims that are made about genetically modified feeds, when they're carefully scrutinized, turn out to be basically because people have done the experiments wrong or haven't done a complete and robust experiment. And the really good experiments that are in the peer review literature uh, support the finding, in fact, which is these are pretty healthy animals, and I'll guarantee you they're being fed gen genetically modified feeds. I think I could summarize the situation this way. When a crop is approved, uh, such, such as soybeans, corn, you know, cotton, alfalfa, for use uh, in the field by farmers as a genetically engineered crop, and that crop is then used as a feed, there's plenty of evidence uh, both from laboratory research, which is published, but also from years of using crops to feed animals like those you see behind me, that those animals 
are exactly the same, they'll grow the same, they'll perform the same, they have the same composition, and the products that come from them are the same. And what this indicates is that the rigorous safety assessment we do is really working you know, extremely well.